I'm Callie Moore, and I'm a story of Madison Presbyterian Church. I'm Kate Roach, and I'm a story of Madison Presbyterian Church. I'm Sutton Trulock, and I'm a story of Madison Presbyterian Church. I was born in this church. This is the church I've always gone to. My mom grew up in this church. Um, I attended Sunday school, Bible school every year. I went to youth group and sang in the children's choir, and this has just been my home. I was introduced to this church because I've always been here, and I was baptized here when I was little, and it's also all that I've ever known, and I've been here with my family ever since. My parents brought me here in 1995, six months after I was born, is when we moved to Madison. Um, and we decided to go to the Madison Presbyterian Church, and I've been going with them for 15 and a half years now. Um, My favorite memory of being at Madison Presbyterian Church was just recently when we were at Montreat and Jordan stood up in front of this whole big group of kids at Montreat when we were having our service and he started dancing to a song and I thought it surprised me because I've always seen Jordan as being someone who's shy and it kind of reminded me of myself how when I first came to this church and joined the youth group, I was so shy and so closed off and wasn't open to anyone or anything and even though it took a while, all the trips and meeting new people and going to new places and opening my faith up to people and preaching in front of the congregation like I'm talking to you now, it really made such an impact on me and has changed who I am today. And it's really influenced me to want to share my faith with everyone and I hope that the church does that for everyone and all the youth members. The ski trip was one of the best experiences with Madison Presbyterian Church. Uh, I went, it was when I went with Pat Jackson. When Pat Jackson came back to uh, help guide the ski trip. Um, it it was great. I It was one of my, the best times here at this church because uh, Samantha King, I think is her last name, and Pat Jackson and me all went uh, with the church to West Virginia. And I remember sitting on the ski slope and having Pat on my left and Samantha on my right and just thinking I want to be like these guys and come back to Madison Presbyterian Church just to help with these kids. I want to have the same influence like I did with um, as they did with me. My favorite memory at Madison Presbyterian Church would be spending time at Hard Labor Creek for retreat weekends and we would just come together and hang out and play games and we just got to spend time with each other and camp out and it just felt like a big family um, and so I just really enjoyed you know growing up with people and just seeing the different generations and spending time with them. So. I love this place. Um, it's been the place where I can just come and hang out and I've grown so much in my faith here um, just from watching other people and being around other people and being influenced by them. I've just seen the love of Christ through them and just being able to grow in that setting has been amazing and I've, I guess why I want to be so active is just to continue that um, and just keep giving back to the church and keep giving back to the community that helped me grow so much. You know, families that I've known for years now who come up and 
tell me good luck on a horse show or ask me how I'm doing in school or people who send me birthday cards like that's that's another thing like I have so many people here who send me birthday cards like that's just you know it's just one of those small little things that makes you feel like you're a part of something um I come usually because of the friends or to see you I mean it's usually stuff like that but I also do like the lesson plan that's usually set out with it I like being able to like think about like all of that stuff because I mean I'm not the I'm not like a person that's really fresh on the Bible like knows a lot of Bible verses but I like to I want to learn and I want to uh, just to be able to do all these things and get closer with God I want to um, have the friends that are that surround me in youth group that also have the same goal that I do. I just want to be in that kind of setting. Same setting. Just the people here um, have been my family. They, I've grown up around them. I've learned from them. It's just been the place that I've come and just felt like I was at home and at peace. Um, I. You just said that it takes a. It takes a village to raise a child, and that's basically what happened. Um, the people here just gathered around me and just helped raise me, and I've learned so much just growing up and being in this community of people. So. Um, I love the youth here. I grew up here, and so. The people that I was surrounded by just showed me the love of Christ and my biggest goal for this church is just to show the love of Christ back to the younger generation coming through and just to teach them what I learned growing up. Groups and sort of like what Andy Vaughn yeah. was doing with her sermon. I want to do what she did, you know, be able to sort of relive everything that I experienced Sorry. because I think when you go again as like a young adult and you've, you know, sort of moved on and matured in your life and you're kind of out in the world, you know, it comes back and it hits you in a different way. And I want to experience that. Well, and also I want to see other people grow like I did. That's a big thing because like me, my, like my personality, you know, I want to see improvement and I want to see growth. Like I love doing that and seeing that in people and I think that 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 would help. Um, that that would do something with my faith if I were to come back and watch all these other kids experience what I did or grow how I did. I guess. <laughs> um, my hope for the church is mainly based around the youth group, just because that's the most active part that I'm involved in. So, I want the middle schoolers to be able to grow up and have the same feeling that I do about this church and have the same love and have the same want to come to this church that I do. Just because w once they see that, I mean, it's a great thing. And I just want them to be able to <clears throat> see just how great the church can be to them and how it can actually lead you down the right paths that you need to go. I guess that, that's a hope, that the youth group will bond together and build strong relationships to be able to feel comfortable to share their faith and you know do all the things that I was afraid to do because I wasn't close to the people in the youth group for a long time and I didn't know how to be close and I didn't really experience that until I went on trips and preached in front of the church and, you know, really opened myself up. Mm -hmm. so. To come back to Madison Presbyterian Church and have an opportunity to continue to grow. Um, I don't want it to be once I leave this that's it and um, I want to come back and still be able to learn and I want the kids here to learn too um, and that it, church is for them and I kind of want to see 
that the diff there's different options um, for worship and there's different options for you know serving the Lord and serving God and in this in this community we can do so much with that and I think that's my biggest hope is just that we can come back and just come together but also have a little bit of something for everyone.